During World War II, drugs were widely used by soldiers on both sides of the conflict, as well as by civilians in war-torn areas. The use of drugs during the war was driven by a number of factors, including the need to treat physical and mental ailments, enhance combat effectiveness, and cope with the stress and trauma of living in a war zone. While the Japanese, American, and British forces are well known for their widespread use of brain-stimulating drugs during World War II, it was the Germans who first embraced this trend during the early stages of the war. Despite the Nazi regime's anti-drug ideology, the military saw the potential benefits of drug use and promoted the consumption of stimulants, such as amphetamines, as a means to enhance soldiers' physical and mental capabilities. Amphetamines are a type of stimulant that can increase alertness and combat fatigue. They were distributed to soldiers on both sides of the conflict and were used to help soldiers stay awake and alert during long periods of combat. The German military, in particular, made widespread use of amphetamines, and German soldiers were often given tablets of a drug called pervitin, which contained methamphetamine. This drug was used to keep soldiers alert and awake during long periods of combat. From 1939 to 1945, the German army consumed pervitine extensively. The drug provided soldiers with increased energy, reduced sleep needs, and suppressed hunger. It also sparked enthusiasm and instilled a sense of invincibility, aligning with the Nazi propaganda's vision of physical and mental superiority. The German military's meticulous planning, combined with the use of pervertine, contributed to the success of the Blitzkrieg strategy, which relied on swift and overwhelming attacks. Soldiers marched for long distances without rest, operating at an unrelenting pace to conquer their enemies. Although pervertine appeared to offer miraculous benefits, it also came with significant drawbacks. Early reports revealed adverse effects, including exhaustion, heart pain, and circulation problems. These concerns led to regulations and eventual prohibition of the drug in 1941. However, despite the official restrictions, the German military continued to distribute and consume pervertine. The addiction and dependence on the drug had severe consequences, ranging from soldiers' physical and mental health issues to strategic miscalculations that contributed to German defeats. Another drug that was widely used during World War II was morphine. Morphine is a powerful painkiller that was used to treat soldiers who had been injured in combat. It was especially effective for treating severe pain associated with traumatic injuries, such as gunshot wounds and amputations. Morphine was administered through injections and was often given to soldiers before surgery or other medical procedures to help manage pain. However, morphine is highly addictive, and many soldiers became dependent on it after prolonged use. Barbiturates were also used during World War II, primarily to treat anxiety and insomnia. These drugs are depressants that can cause drowsiness and relaxation, and they were used to help soldiers cope with the stress of combat. However, barbiturates are also highly addictive, and prolonged use can lead to dependence and withdrawal symptoms. Cocaine was another drug that was used during World War II, primarily as a local anesthetic. It was used to numb pain during surgical procedures and was also used to treat depression. However, cocaine is highly addictive and can cause severe physical and psychological health problems. Opium and its derivatives, such as morphine and heroin, were also commonly used by civilians in war-torn areas. In Europe, opium was commonly used to treat pain and anxiety, while in Asia, drugs like opium and heroin were used recreationally. The use of these drugs was often driven by the stress and trauma of living in a war zone, as well as by the need to cope with poverty, hunger, and other challenges associated with wartime. Despite the widespread use of drugs during World War II, there was little awareness of the dangers of addiction and dependence. Many soldiers returned home from the war with drug addictions that they had developed during their service and there were few resources available to help them overcome these addictions. 
In addition, the use of drugs like amphetamines and barbiturates to enhance combat effectiveness was seen as a legitimate strategy for improving military performance. And little attention was paid to the potential long-term consequences of these drugs. The use of drugs during World War II also had broader social and political implications. The widespread use of drugs by soldiers on both sides of the conflict highlighted the importance of drug production and distribution as a strategic resource. The German military, for example, invested heavily in the production of amphetamines. And this investment was seen as a key factor in the success of the Blitzkrieg strategy in the early years of the war. The use of drugs to cope with the stress and trauma of living in a war zone also underscored the importance of mental health and psychological well-being in wartime. In addition to the use of drugs for medical purposes, the use of drugs for recreational purposes was also common during World War II. In many war-torn areas, drugs such as opium and heroin were readily available and were often used as a means of escape from the realities of war. However, this use of drugs often had negative consequences, including addiction, illness, and even death. The use of drugs during World War II also had long-term consequences for society as a whole. The widespread use of drugs during the war contributed to the development of drug cultures in many parts of the world, and the legacy of drug use during the war continues to be felt today. The use of drugs during World War II also highlighted the importance of drug regulation and control, and led to the development of international drug control policies in the post-war period. In conclusion, the use of drugs during World War II was driven by a range of factors, including the need to treat physical and mental ailments, enhance combat effectiveness, and cope with the stress and trauma of living in a war zone. While drugs like morphine and amphetamines were effective in treating pain and fatigue, they also had significant potential for addiction and dependence. The use of drugs during the war also had broader social and political implications. Highlighting the importance of drug production and distribution as a strategic resource and underscoring the importance of mental health and psychological well-being in wartime. The legacy of drug use during World War II continues to be felt today, as societies struggle to balance the benefits of medical treatments with the potential risks of addiction and dependence.